Young and the Restless Recap Tuesday, December 24, 2019. At Society, Chance informs Adam he's sticking around, he thought he deserved to know. He knows he's a reminder of things they'd both rather forget, but he didn't call him here to ask his permission or his forgiveness. By the door, Christine and Lauren arrive, excited to catch up. Michael and Paul join them, bickering about their racquetball game. They both say, your husband's a cheat. At their table, Adam and Chance notice the argument then resume discussing what went down in Vegas, it's hard to forget and Adam thinks distance helps. Chance says his roots are there. Phyllis arrives and spies as Chance references Adam helping him out of a jam in Vegas. Adam muses that at least Chance won't be trying to take him down. Chance asks if there's anyone he's concerned about, then spots Phyllis. She warns Chance that it's only a matter of time before Adam sticks a machete in his back. Adam leaves and Phyllis lets Chance know she'd love to be his friend and offers a drink. Meanwhile, Michael and Paul are now debating a case that Michael won't prosecute. Food arrives as Lauren explains they're hangry. The men eat, it's super spicy. Lauren snarks they need to cool down. She and Christine laugh. Paul and Michael make up as Lauren and Chris reveal they were willing to go on strike as wives to bring them to their senses. They vow never to argue again. Talk turns to Fen doing well in recovery and they toast. Elsewhere, Chance figures Phyllis is looking for something to use against Adam. She wonders how she could use what happened in Vegas against him and asks Chance to fill in the blanks about the jam he was in. Chance urges her to toy with someone else, he knows her kind and isn't interested. At the penthouse, Adam calls someone in Vegas to make sure, she, is still getting the payments, silence as expensive but essential. At Crimson Lights, Ray and Sharon hang Christmas decorations and share a kiss. Suddenly, Faith appears in the doorway with Mariah and asks for hot chocolate. Sharon embraces her, she's never letting her go. As Faith, played by Alvia Allen Lind, jokes that all she wants to do is sleep, Summer arrives and hugs her. Whatever's in the water at boarding school she wants to bottle it for Jabbit. Mariah and Summer take Faith to the patio to ask about the boy she likes. Faith shows them a photo and they think he's a cute nerd. Summer advises Faith to just be herself to get his attention. Inside, Sharon tells Ray she's had Connor on her mind. He asks how much of this is because he's Adam's son. Sharon admits it factors in, she'd like to give Connor better coping mechanisms. She assures him he doesn't have to worry, she won't put what they have in jeopardy. Out on the patio, Faith thinks her older siblings are the best gift of all. They share a group hug. Faith goes inside and Mariah asks Summer how things are at Jabbit. Summer assures her there's still nothing happening with her and Kyle, she's matured and moved on. In the coffee house, Sharon hugs Faith again, she's the luckiest mom in the world. Amanda drops a file at Grand Phoenix and Phyllis appears. Amanda apologizes for how she handled her request for legal help. Phyllis respected her honesty and offers friendship. Amanda admits she's considering staying and Phyllis urges her to think about living there. Later, Nate plays backgammon with Amanda and reveals he'll keep their friendship separate from his family. She asks if he's sure she's worth the effort. Nate replies, time will tell. He delights her with stories of decorating the hospital and cheering the kids. They discuss holiday plans. Amanda says she will manage, she's been finding ways to fill her evenings. Nate asks if she's met someone. Amanda alludes to a girl's night out with Phyllis. Nate wonders about gentlemen. Amanda doesn't tell him about Billy.